So for this pattern, I'm gonna show you the pattern first and see what I'm gonna do. So I did the following. We have a length of 30 inches in length, okay? Total of 30 inches, okay? 30 inches in length and we have a width of 11 inches, okay? Um, actually, 11 and a half. I'm so sorry. 11 and a half. So I'm going to add that in that pattern so I don't forget. So I did 11 and a half. Okay. Inches. There we go. So we got 30 and 11 and a half in width. Perfect. Um, so you're going to do one piece like this, and then I'm going to show you the markings that I did on it, okay, that I'm going to use. And then you're going to do another piece that is 12 inch by 7 in width. And then you're going to cut two of this, okay. This one, we are going to cut one for the exterior, and I do want to put a cover inside. Typically, you don't have to if you use a thick fabric, but I want to use a... Uh, um, I want to put it nice and pretty looking inside, so I'm going to be able, I'm going to do one interior and one exterior for this one. Let's do those two cuts. So now that we have cut the pieces, I want to show you, I have one interior, remember 30 by 11 and a half, one long, and then I have my exterior is going to be this one. I also have my, these are going to be my sides, and I have two, um, that are going to be 12 by 7. I am also going to cut some webbing and this is going to be 16 inches in length and you're going to cut two 16 inches in length. That is all you need for this project. Um, one thing that I'm missing is that you're also going to put your tag. If you want to put your tag, we are going to try to center it here or we can put it inside as a little um, tag. I'm going to put it inside because I kind of like how it looks for this bag. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to make the markings on your pattern because this pattern is a pattern you're making with me. So I want to make sure that you have all the markings. Um, so to start off, I want to go one inch from the upper border. And if you see, I have a line in the middle and I put that line there to show the fabric line. So that means that you're going to place your fabric with the line when you're cutting it. Um, so that way the, the, the machine stitches better and the look, the final look is better. Um, so we're gonna do a one inch from the top. So I want you to mark one inch. And then I want you to go ahead and take your ruler and mark that part. That's one inch on the top. I want you to do the same thing at the bottom of your pattern. You're gonna mark an inch and through that, throw that line, okay? Just follow me with the lines, so first. You're gonna mark half an inch from the corner, from the corner. So you mark half an inch, and I want you to go along the length and do a half an inch in length. I already have it marked and I'm marking my red, but I'm just showing you that I am doing a half an inch from the top, okay? And you do it on the way. Then go ahead and lay your pattern nice and straight. Now I want you to measure from the top. I'm gonna use my other ruler. Oh, actually this one is good. So I am gonna measure 12 inches from the top line down. So you're gonna mark and you mark at the 12 inch mark. You're gonna make a mark there. And then go to the other side of your pattern and you're gonna do the same thing. You find, mark it well, and you mark your 12 inch. Kind of did it wrong. Let's see. So yeah, it's 12, so. I went under, so my line is marked wrong actually, so I'm gonna fix it.
And I'm gonna check it with my peas. Yes, okay, I marked it wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and refix it because I did it wrong. Okay, that's why we checked our measurements twice, right? And I'm gonna mark it on my red so I know. And I'm gonna make cut next so I know because I made an error so that way it, I don't get confused on which one. So I want the one with the X. Okay. Or you can make a check like this is the mark. Check maybe better. Okay. I'm going to put a check. This is the one. This is the one. Check. Okay. So that's the right line. So as you see, you have the lines on the top, line on the bottom, on the sides, and then you have 12 inches from the bottom, 12 inches from the bottom. Okay. Now you're going to take your fabric. I want you to take your long fabric. You're gonna place it on top with the wrong side looking up, okay? And we're gonna lay this on top. I'm gonna put my weights on it so it can sit really pretty and perfect. My pencil flew away, let me go get it. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and mark where I need to make a line. So I'm going to make all my markings on the pattern, on the back, on the actual bag, on the back. So I know where things are going to be. So you are marking your half an inch line, your one inch line, and your bottom lines. Can I do this with a pencil? Cause it's nicer just in case I made a mistake. And this is a quick guide, but making the pattern is so fun that I wanna make sure you can do it. See, I'm going from dot to dot. There you go. And the corner. So the fabric has got a little wonky there, so I went ahead and reset it so it can be good. Okay, so I have everything ready on this piece. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna go ahead and place my fabric on top and see how this one is gonna be one inch shorter on the top and on the bottom. And that's okay, because that's exactly what I want. Um, I'm going to iron it a little bit so it can look really nice. Give me a second. I am going to use this. This is for basting and typically it's used for quilts and it doesn't gum the needle. It's really nice. It's not, it's only temporary, but I'm going to use it to kind of hold my um, fabric in place while I sew so that way it doesn't ruin the project. And when I sew, it kind of stays in place. I don't want to use the um, sewing tape for this. The the double-sided tape, I think this will be better for this kind of project. And it just helps me, you can just clip it and hold it, but I like the idea of this. Okay. Um, 
you can always reposition, which is really nice. Okay, so outer less, it's great. So it's just gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be temporary while I do my work here. So it's nice. Let me just do the iron on it very quickly. This is beautiful. Okay, so now I have all my pieces done. I went ahead and put the quilting basting product under. I ironed it a little bit so it can look really nice. And you have the other side, and then you also have the sides of the pattern. And remember, I have forgotten these two pieces, so we just have to cut them, okay? Okay, so next, we are gonna go ahead and come to the top. And we have that one inch there in the distance. So we are gonna measure two and a half inches over and two and a half inches in, okay? So I have it there, I measured two and a half inches. Okay, and two and a half inches on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that webbing and I'm gonna hold it right there from the inside. And then I'll take the other side and do the same. Make sure it kind of falls nice. And place it there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna measure two and a half inches in and two and a half inches in. And then I'm gonna put my um, webbing right there. In the inside of the two and a half, on the inside. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna go and baste that. Okay, and we're gonna do everything else from the machine. Okay, so now I'm gonna baste this corner and this is really nice. Let's do both of them. Okay. And so it's very nice and well secure. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go ahead and drop the inch that we had. See how the webbing came forward? We're gonna drop it there. I'm gonna raise the webbing from there, okay? And I'm gonna secure that maybe with your clips, okay? And then I'm gonna put that webbing nice and straight. Here you go. And do the same thing all the way. It just gives it a really nice look. Now, before we sew, we also gonna add our tag. If you have a tag, if this is the moment to add it, we're gonna put it right in the middle. I'm gonna fold this a little bit. There you go. Well, I sent some new tags to be made so they should be coming, they should be on the way. Um, but let me go ahead and find my center so that way I can do it and it looks gorgeous, okay. And with this fabric, I'm just gonna squeeze it to get the center and there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. 
There you go. So if you have a different kind of tag, you can put it, this is the moment to put it, you can put it on the other side. I like with this bag, this kind, so I'm gonna do that. And now I'm gonna sew, now I'm ready to do the sewing. Okay, that looks beautiful. So basically on the other side, it's gonna look like that, you see? So you're gonna have a line on the bottom and a line on the top, but it's gonna look really pretty. That looks actually very pretty. I like it. I am not gonna top stitch yet because I want to top stitch the whole bag at the same time. So that's gonna wait there. Maybe I'll put a clip there so I maybe I won't. So it doesn't make a mark on my skin. On my sorry, on the fabric. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Let me push that fabric nicely. Okay. Oops, oopsie, 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 oopsie. That's not what I wanted. And um, I need to top stitch um, to base that first, okay? So I'm going to baste it. fold it leaving this off I'm gonna fold it and lift it for the one inch okay and I'm accounting that piece because I kind of sew on it and if you need to measure go ahead and measure that you have an inch there there you go see I have an inch One thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna make a, a turn and we're gonna do a one inch also because it has to look equal. So it's a one inch down, just about. There we go. And we're just gonna do this in one of the sides. So I have one side. So let me move this over. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side, one inch down. So I measure it well once I put it. There we go. Yeah, 
there we go. That's not an inch, it's a little under. And I'm so not so worried about that because I'm gonna clean it. So I'm gonna clean that. Let me do it right now. It's okay. Typically I don't have anything under and this time I decided to put a a piece inside to make it look just a little bit different and give it a little bit of a flare. So that's that. Okay, there you go. So let's go ahead and stitch it. It's really um, taking me time because I'm showing you, but it's, it's really a quick bag to make. I like this bag for like a birthday because you can give a present and then give it in the bag. And instead of using one of those paper bags, you use this bag, it makes it so cute. It's what a, what a super cute present. Um, so it's a nice thought for making the bag. So the next thing we're gonna do, okay, so what we're gonna do next is that we are gonna go ahead and put that piece kind of like in the side like that. We are gonna turn in this one. Okay, and it's just about a half an inch in. We are gonna take a turn there and we are gonna hold it in place, okay? And we are gonna do this all the way along. Okay, that actually looked nice. It's coming together nicely, I see that. So let's look at the other side. This though is gonna be cute, 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 okay? I'm just going to fold it in and, and make it be amazing like that, okay? So let's do that. Let's hold this piece for a second in place over there so I can put the other together. So now we're gonna do the other side. This bag is almost done, so I cannot believe it. It's so nice, so cute. So we are gonna fold one inch, half an inch in. And remember that we're gonna take that extra fabric that is gonna, gonna stick out, we're gonna bring it in. So it doesn't stick out. the job for our super fingers and so one of the things that I like from this bag is that I can make it without a an inside piece if I have a fabric maybe I have a canvas that is really pretty and nice and steady maybe like an outdoor fabric um, I can use an outdoor fabric for it and that fabric is it tends to be a little thicker and um, by being thicker it's going to have a nice um, hold when you hold it up and that's the idea to kind of have a kind of have a bag that sits up so that looks nice so I'm going to come in the other side and I'm gonna fold this in half an inch and then I'm gonna take that fabric in as well and pinch. Okay. 
And when I finish, I'm gonna clean up the whole thing and see how it turns out. Remember, we have to top stitch and that's gonna be nice and quick and it's gonna make it look gorgeous. So this is a marine vinyl and it's a little bit on the, it's soft but thick at the same time. So with my hand, I'm really working hard and pushing on it to hold it. If you have a heat press, you could always press that corner, but I don't, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I got to the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm gonna turn it in and take that fabric in and over. Okay. There you go. Find the center first. And then let's move to the corner. And here I'm gonna take like a little fold. I think I'm gonna do this bag again. And do that. Because that would have been better. That was a mistake. Okay, that looks great. Love it. Okay, let me take those out. Okay, good. Let's go. The top here is not quite what I want, so let me squeeze it in. There we go. Okay, perfecto. Let's go. So much better. Look at the, look at that. So much better. The other side, not so amazing, but I'm gonna be okay because I think I'm gonna do it again. This was a nice uh, trial bag and I wanted to do it with you. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and Look at all this little stitching here, little little pieces. Let me see if I can use these scissors. Oh, I can. So I can clean it up. Ah, there you go. That looks adorable. Look at that. That looks adorable. Oh my goodness, it came out great. Um, we have one thing to finish and is to secure that um, Velcro. So I'm gonna do a, a top stitch all the way across. And I'm thinking about it, if I wanna really do that, I think I do. Cause I don't want that hanging out like that. So, but if I top stitch those little corners, I won't be perky. So, um, hmm. 
no i'm not i'm actually not gonna do it i think it looks cute and you know what i can do i can put rivets oh that would be so cute i'm gonna do that let me go to the other station okay okay so i decided that i'm gonna put rivets on it i think it's gonna be really cute it's gonna be a nice way to finish this bag um you can see the inside is nice and um so i'm gonna use my holly trend um press and i have these um caps that i'm gonna use so the first thing i need to do is do my hole so I, I love this one this is super easy to use you put this golden kind of look piece i bought these separate the rib the the pieces that you use the caps to be able to do the holes and then this one you put on the top to do the hole Okay, so before I make holes, I wanna make sure I know where my center is. So I'm gonna use a little pencil to decide where my, where I'm gonna put my holes. So I think I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go there. Okay, and then in the other side, I'm gonna go here and here. I'm following the line of the of the webbing. I think it's a good place. So I'm gonna make the hole. So basically I put the piece there and then I'm gonna put the fabric exactly on the hole where I want it. And then I'm gonna lower into, there you go. And I just press and it's really good. I have an owl and I like to use my owl to make sure that I went through nicely. If you can see there, okay. And it did go through nicely, okay. So let me make my two holes in one side first and then I'll all the holes first. Cleans the spot. Good job. And then the other side. My husband got this for me for my birthday last year. No, two years ago. And I was so happy. I used to do this by hand and it was so hard okay so I did that I did all my holes now I'm gonna go ahead and change the pieces here okay and I'd like to use my nine millimeter for my um, for the ones that I have basically gonna put a little snap on it we're gonna hear the snap there you go so I'll put all of them first and then I press them with the hobby press oops drop it there you go and look how cute it looks Okay, 
so I have two there. Um, you just have to press a little and it sits and it gets it in place. There you go. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, sometimes I press too hard, I make a mark. And the bag is finished. What do you think? It came out lovely, I think. Um, this was okay, look, even though I could see it a little bit, I was able to close it. So it looks really nice. You can't really tell. You know, because you saw me doing it and had my little tag. And it's a gorgeous little top. Okay, I hope you love it. Great, so happy. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Thank you.